What up world, welcome back to Ill Reviews, the channel for the movie heads and the music junkies where I keep you up to date on what's popping in these streets. But make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications because I will be doing at least two movie or music reviews every single week. Though y'all ready? Let's get it. Yeah, 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 man, it's time, man. We're about to check out the new joint from the one and only Ian D. Four. you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, um, well, honestly, I'm keeping real. I don't know a lot about this dude, uh, this kid, because he's only 22, he's from Puerto Rico. Um, I know he was on the song with uh, what's a 24K Golden, the song Move, um, which spent a dumb amount of time on that chart, on the charts. So that song was decent, but it wasn't my favorite. I definitely found better songs on 24K Golden's album when I did that review. But uh, um, I guess he got a success off of that song. Um, so yeah, here we are about to check out his new album called On To Better Things. Um, I'm rocking with this cover art, you know what I'm saying? Abstract, a little dark. So yeah, let's get to the music. The first song on this project is called, Is It You? Let's check it out, see what we think. Who am I in the walls in my mind? There's nothing left that I could do. You let me wander and oh, 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 oh. Am I still standing? Okay, I can see he's on that melodic tip, you know what I'm saying? Very, very melodic. It sounded cool so far. I'm over my living, watching the clock spinning. I lost We came too far to end it. Okay, basically I feel like that's a, a, a heartbreak song. But I like the vibes, pure pop vibes, uh, sonically dope. Um, and I like his vocals on that, you feel me? I, was, I think that's a solid track. Let's go to track two, Complicated, see what we think. Okay, sounds like more relationship drama um, again. Dope production. Um, but now I'm wondering, like, is this going to be his subject matter throughout this project or he's going to switch it up? You know what I'm saying? Next track. Track three is entitled V12 featuring Lil Uzi Vert. Uh, he says, I'm reckless, diamonds in my smile and my necklace. Basically a stunting track. Uh, and Uzi's on the track doing his thing, claiming he did it first. Uh, more of a party track, um, but still good vibes. Track four is entitled, I Might. He said, DR Shades cover my eyes. I'm with a shorty with a mouth full of lies. Um, to me, the song is like uh, basically about doing something that you know is detrimental to you but you keep going back to it out of uh, habit or boredom, you feel me? I feel like we all been there, so I feel like that track is kind of relatable. I definitely related to that for sure. Track five is entitled Heavy. I like to be lonely sometimes. Nobody tells the truth. You know. They say when you raise it, boy. Okay, uh, on this song, it appears that he's talking about karma's price being too heavy, you feel me? Like he did something in the past, but the repercussion of that is like a little bit more than he thought it was going to be. And then he has a lot on there where he says, again, no one tells the truth anymore. And that's like another, uh, like a recurrent theme, because I'm like, you must be surrounded by a lot of liars, because that's the second time you brought it up. Because on the other song, he said he with a girl with a mouthful of lies. Um, but either way, uh, cool little track. Um, I like the production on that track, uh, especially those guitars, those guitars was hitting, so I ain't mad at it, it's solid. Track six is entitled Dark Angel Interlude, kind of like a slightly disturbing melody about him selling his soul for money. Uh, track seven is called Obvious, featuring Travis Barker. Um, definitely interesting production on that, very, very up-tempo. He has a line on there where he says, I pull up on you, I'm at your door, you better answer, I know you home. Um, that's just kind of stalkery. But at the end of the day, that song is more relationship drama. Um, but I like the energy on that track. It's just, it's something about it. The energy on that track is just like hype. You know what I'm saying? It's exciting. So I, I, I can rock with it. Track eight is entitled Heartbreaker. And he 
spell heartbreaker with a backwards three for a, a E. Ain't that some gang shit? Yo, I think that was some cool production on that track, you know what I'm saying? Basically talking about partying with a coked up chick, you feel me? This song to me rep represents the uh, the carelessness of youth, you feel me? Just young and having fun, you feel me? I like the energy on that track and it's probably my favorite track on here so far. Next track. Track nine is entitled Options. On this one, he's kind of like stunting on females to get their attention, but on this song, I feel like it's not much effort put into that record. It doesn't have a, a real vibe, a real mood. It's like, it's like, it's like, okay, we're gonna try to just put something. It's like a filler track. That's exactly what it is. Plus, it's only like a minute and 42 seconds. I'm like, uh, I don't think that song was ne needed and uh, unnecessary. I'm, I'm cool on that one. Track 10 is entitled Regret. Bass is hitting though. I like that bass on that joint. Yo, I rock with that song too. You feel me? This this project is getting a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the energy. I like that bass. And uh, actually, that song is cool enough to where I would like to see a music video if he hasn't already. I ain't even been on YouTube to see what videos he put out, but I think that'll make a dope music video. Track 11 is entitled "Thought It Was," featuring Travis Barker and MGK, Machine Gun Kelly. I've been crying inside so you can't see my pain The heart went away and they all did the same God, all these friends don't even know Do you use this too hard cause I'm not okay inside I lost my mind, yo, that's, that track is very, very introspective, man He said he has friends that he don't know He's talking about being lonely in California He said he made it but it don't feel right Yo, that song is 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 kind of deep. You feel me? Um, I feel like I got to know E and Dior a little bit more on that song alone. Then of course, of course, MGK comes in with a very very passionate verse. Uh, yeah, that, that's probably gonna be a standout track on this project. Track twelve is entitled "Sinking Interlude," and yes, definitely the second half of this project to me is uh, a lot more entertaining, um, engaging than the first half to me, you feel me? But um, as far as this song, uh, more heartbreak vibes, uh, but this sinking interlude is very airy and, and abstract, and I kind of like that, you feel me? Um, he's going different places, you know what I'm saying? And it's, 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 it's matching the aesthetic of this project. This project has like a dark and gloomy feel, you feel me? With moments of um, joy, but um, a lot of sadness thrown in. It's, it's weird, but this this matches, you know what I'm saying? It's a theme, and I like I like when a project has a cohesive theme to it. Track 13 is entitled "Let You," um, another breakup track. Uh, at this point, my ADHD is kind of kicking in. I'm fading fast, but uh, I'm gonna keep going. Track uh, 14 is entitled "Fallen," um, and that's another breakup track. Like, damn, family, how many chicks dumped you, or how many did you dump? Because this is a lot. Um, but as far as that track, I appreciate the acoustics, uh, his vocal range. He tried some different stuff with his vo voice and actually sound pretty good to me. Um, and the song is really a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that Fallen, I think he also will make a dope music video. Check that one out for sure. And the final track on this project is called Hopeless Romantic. Of course it is. Know what I'm doing, driving, drunk all along. really like the energy on that track man and that's it that's all 15 tracks on this project uh i'm gonna let y'all know my favorite tracks on this project are uh fallen um thought it was regret and heartbreaker i really like those uh four tracks the best and with that being said i'm gonna rate this project a four out of five i would give it a four out of five um my only critique would be a uh, slightly repetitive subject matter um, but it wasn't too overwhelming. He did switch it up enough for me, I guess. But I really feel like this project could have been condensed into 10 songs. I feel like maybe some songs were not as needed. And if you had condensed like 10 songs, 
I think that would have been better. But nonetheless, it's still a great project. And uh, I got to rate it against my favorite uh, projects in this genre, which is uh, Machine Gun Kelly's Ticket to My Downfall and Dim My Devil by uh, Ash Nico. Um, I feel like this is right up there with them. Um, even though I like those two projects a little bit better, this is still good. And um, for somebody, it might be everything. So, yeah, let me know y'all favorite tracks in the comments and what y'all think about this project, what y'all would rate it and why, what y'all would rate it and why, what y'all would rate it and why. Please tell me because I really want to know. But, yeah, shout out to Ian Dior. He's on to better things. And so am I. You feel me? That's it for this review. My reaction until next time. Y'all treat each other right. It's a cold world. I'm just trying to heat it up. This has been It Reviews. I'm out. Yeah. Oh. What you talking about? Yeah, you know I'm on. Think like a boss. My Chicorleon. I'm a go getter. Till my chromosome. Shut the hating up. You see I'm on the phone. What you talking about? Yeah, you know I'm on. Think like a boss. My Chicorleon. I'm a go getter.